The big question around the rank plaque system of the Galactic Empire is what is the difference between the single and double row rank plaques. For this video I wanted to explore a system to be found online by more installation on Reddit which displays single and double row rank plaques and covers the explanation given around the difference between them both. It combines the rank plaque systems from A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi with the canon rank plaques from Rogue One, Solo, The Bad Batch, Star Wars Rebels, The Mandalorian and even Andor. Although there are a few inconsistencies, the chart is a great amalgamation of the single and double row rank plaques aligned to those Star Wars productions. However, like every system ever provided, there are always inconsistencies, but I thought this system was one of the best attempts at bringing the systems together. There are a few factors that are important to note when understanding the rank plaque systems and where they came from to provide context on how the system, in line with the story, roughly fits together. For those not familiar with John Mollo, he was commissioned in 1975 by George Lucas to design the costumes including the Imperial Officer uniforms for the first two original Star Wars films, A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. John authentically and intentionally based them upon the German Nazi officer uniforms and also designed their rank system. Also, David Crossman and Glyn Dillon created a rank plaques chart for 2016's Rogue One, which I myself have covered before and continues the theme of single row rank plaques for the majority of the officers prior to the Battle of Yavin. The Andor series has also stayed true to this chart, although limited to certain officer ranks. In the late 1980s, West End Games rank system provided a system which contrasted with the Star Wars movie system, but is described as the temporary rank system used while the Battle of Yavin was concluded. However, the chart's limited structure of plaques is restrictive in terms of the ranks used by the military. For example, there were various levels of lieutenants, admirals, colonels and generals, which the system did not allow for. But if this is the case, it seems plausible to me, in keeping with the storyline, that in the three years between the Battle of Yavin and the Battle of Hoth, the rank plaque system could have been reorganised to incorporate greater variations of plaques for many types of officer ranks, including sergeants, lieutenants, commodores, admirals and generals, for both the army and the navy in particular. So having established that the West End game system is a temporary rank system, I will look at the more installations chart reasons behind why the rank plaques changed from single to double row plaques. Prior to the Battle of Yavin, only very senior ranks or titles wore double row rank plaques, like for example a Grand Moff, a Grand Admiral or a Moff. And although Star Wars Rebels is contrary to this, with some low to mid ranking officers wearing double rows, other Star Wars productions set prior to the Empire's defeat at Yavin all display single row rank plaques which are largely consistent with John Mollo's system and all of the Star Wars productions. During the destruction of the first Death Star at the Battle of Yavin, over a million of the most promising command staff perished, leaving a vacuum of non-commissioned personnel to be promoted in order to fill the void. The chart references that prior to the Battle of Yavin, single row rank plaques were sector ranks under the control of sector moths, and not under the direct control of Coruscant. However, the ranking system was eliminated once the battle was concluded and a temporary ranking system was introduced. The chart also references a reorganised double row rank system became galaxy wide under the direct control of Coruscant, although there were some ranks missing, for example Colonel, Commodore and Major General. However, what I like about the chart is that all the plaques are aligned and listed to be matched up with Star Wars productions as they appeared and attempts to bring some kind of consistency to a system that has not always been consistent throughout Star Wars history. For more Imperial focused videos please show your support by giving a like and subscribing. Thank you for watching and as always, long live the Empire.